Welcome everyone. I'm so excited to tell you about this podcast. It's called The DK Project, but it's really The Darren Show. This has been in the project stage for as long as I can remember. I've been witness to this for countless years and there's lots for you to hear. The DK Project is a radio show, but without the radio. Once a week, the show will consist of banter and tales from the journey of two lifelong friends as they navigate through these crazy times. So thanks for tuning in. Let's go! All right, baby, we're back. We're back. Here we go, man, alive. A lot of things happening. Holy snot rockets. I tell you, I uh, I don't know that I've ever been so busy doing nothing. Explain. Uh, you know what? I've got, uh, I had the, I had the office painted and, uh, it, uh, it was a little bigger project than I thought, but I had them rework a couple things like my ceiling and some walls and that kind of stuff. Oh, they, they like changed the texture on the ceiling or painted the ceiling? <laughs> they got rid of the water spots and all the other shit. Oh, oh. and, uh, now was it, wait, was your entire office painted or just that, that one the enclosed area. Well, we did the back half. I'm redoing the studio, and mm. uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, it'll be done by the end of the week. But it's it's all painted. He actually, I was just shooing him out of here to get uh, get in here to do this. So we That's uh, fun. we have a we have a lot of office stuff going on because uh, I don't know if I told you I I'm taking over the space adjacent to our current office. Oh yeah, growing. You grow on and and here it's so funny because the 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 office kitty corner from me was doing the same thing and they were renovating uh, the space that they're taking over and the space that I'm taking over okay Ex- except they were moving into theirs last Friday and I'm not moving into ours until March 1st so we got some time oh but but we were here working on Friday when they're moving in and the space that we're taking over I, I, I happened to walk by and the movers were moving like significant amounts of desks and boxes and computers into the space that is mine. Okay. So I had to I kind of like mosey over. It was just chaos. He had like two, two guys in a truck, you know, that company. Oh, literally. They had, they had, they had yeah, literally they had two of those. So there's like, like 14 guys moving stuff in and out, like a big deal. So I kind of roll over there and I had to drop the bomb that uh, they were filling up the space that was not theirs. Nice. And, uh, the, the lady looked at me like I let him get insane. it all unloaded I, first, and then I uh, oh, went over and oh, had was, a discussion. There was, there was quite a bit, Yikes. Quite a bit en- enough to make me email the the, the guy and go, uh, "We're we're good, right on on uh, on our space." Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, on the- <laughs> you know, there's been a change of plans. <laughs> I uh, it's a it, lot of office stuff. It's exciting. You know, I got to say, uh, yours more uh, yours more uh, uh, exciting than mine. Mine's. Uh, I just needed to paint. I had this like vomit color on the walls that uh, just uh, it was time to get rid of it. Start fresh because we got to have the uh, we got to have the front end of the building painted here in the next week or two also. So vomit um, color. <laughs> so, well, nice. it was a cross between vomit and soft stool. Uh, mm. Could have gone mm-hmm. either way. You know, <laughs> it depends like on after, depends after on what the baby ate color. that day. Um, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, uh, yeah. So I had to come in and dust all my equipment. It was ridiculous, but I'm, uh, I'm not. There we go. Now I'm hearing my voice the way I want to. Solid. So listen but to you this. You did it. You're up and running. You dusted. You got the painting done. It's uh, all systems go. Well, you got to see the uh, man. I got some cool art. Oh, I'm telling you. Where I, I spend money like a drunken gypsy. Holy crap. Uh, I'm currently looking for some art. Oh, well, I've got one that you could put on your wall because you're going to appreciate it. Mine's soundproof, but yours could be just be a poster. That could be the next That could be the next gift. I'm telling Explain, you. What, it, what is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I got to yeah. see it. Oh, oh it's oh. visual, baby. Once, uh, okay. once, I, once I show it to you, then I will uh, I'll post it up on the website. Man, our numbers are ridiculous. I, uh, I can't even lie. I, I actually, I know you don't do the, Insta, uh, the social medias, but I put a little... A little fat guy video up the other day of myself talking Ooh. about how we finally got uh, everything dialed in with iTunes. It was quite a battle. We've been on all the other ones for quite a while, but iTunes really put up a fight. I, really? Uh, well, and it was just lame old crap, but there's a whole underworld, back world of Google owns this, so they don't want to deal with Apple on that and whatever. Can't we all just get along? But we are uh, we are up on everything. We're on Stitcher. We're on... Uh, Google Play, um, Google Podcast, yeah. Um, yeah. iTunes, yeah, 
We're s- everything. We're hitting, it, hitting it hard. So uh, a little but, update. But all the dedicated, all the de- dedicated fans deserve it. Now they can. Uh, well, we have to do our part. Us. Exactly. I'm, I'm telling you, they've been searching it out. They want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. But uh, <laughs> we uh, we got to get a pickleball update in here. I uh, I played the pickleball. Uh, that was a little while ago now. Uh, so we played pickleball, and it, we got, we were the friendship bracket winner. And I made okay. it through. I made it through the whole thing uh, injury free, and uh, pickleball. And uh, and then the next day, I'm at the kids' hockey tournament, and I step where there's no step, and I turn my ankle just walking down the stairs. Oh, so so it no happened. So no hoops for me, baby. I was sitting out last week, but I it was fine. We had to go play. Uh, the kid got the consolation uh, championship. In the I hockey saw that. tournament, yeah. yeah. Was, Congratulations, bomber! Yeah, it was a solid effort. He, uh, God, some reason he can't put the biscuit in the basket though. He hits the mm. pipe every time. Oh, really? I'm trying to teach him shoot it where they're not. Well, what he's doing is trying to grab a corner and he's hitting the pipe. Mm. That's fine. Once he sights that weapon, and it's going to be all downtown. Yeah. Widen that corner. Hey, I'm working the other day, and I'm out cruising. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you promised a pickleball update. Yeah, I, well, I said we, we won the friendship bracket. It wasn't anything great. We really sucked. I, uh, I really and was, you still won? Well, it's the friendship bracket. That's the, that's the tallest short person, you know? That, oh, that's just uh, that's like the, that's the game. That's they, one level of, oh, that, go ahead. That, that's just the game they let you play because they promised you three games. <laughs> <laughs> we lost two and one one but the guy that the next I, league has helmets the guy well that was recommended at the end <laughs> i uh the guy that i beat he um i think he's an eye doctor right there by you so i'm thinking that, oh, there's, that might yeah, be a nice connection i need an eye doctor wait wait wait, wait. Uh, it was an, it's a it's a uh it's a single match like it's one on one no it no, was, okay, that was said the guy. That I was beat. all couples. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be uh, diplomatic <laughs> here, but <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> there's a reason why we lost. It wasn't because of me. But uh, mm. she's got to work on her skill set a little bit. I mean, come on. There's got to be communication on the team, and I just didn't have it. She just ah uh, ah. Uh, you know, <laughs> whatever. So we haven't whatever. been. We haven't been going. It's taken on the whole. It's taken on a whole new world. I was. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that your uh, the uh, basketball game was canceled because I was looking for another. We got our asses handed to us story. Well, like, they, uh, like they the last did, cast. They did without me. They, uh. <laughs> they still got pounded. Although, so I sent out the email uh, today for the uh, tonight's game, and uh, oh my god, it was like it was like I was selling something really cheap on Craigslist. Just ding ding. It was all sore back, bad knee, bad ankle, oh, turn my no. ankle, can't play today. And it's like, so I called in the cavalry. I got the, I got the uh, 18 year old showing up tonight. Ooh. So you're, you're, uh, I'm your bringing, first team I'm bringing is, the is guns. Crumbling. <laughs> oh my God. What a bunch Do you have of a game. What a bunch you have of a game pansies. tonight. Yeah. Seven o'clock tip, oh. baby. Where you want to play? Uh, no, we, we need a short guy who can't jump. Yeah, I got that credit card vertical. <laughs> exact mundo. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I uh, uh, I'm average by the way, not short. Average. Yeah, I don't know. You're average on a short scale. I mean, so let's be honest. No, you, I'm like you, uh, you and I'm Spud like, Webb. What are you like five I'm like, seven? I'm like uh, 1979 Europe average. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. No, no, of course no, you I'm are. Fi- I'm five nine. <laughs> You Google that. That's pretty close to average. You're just a freak. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I could Google that that's average, but that's, I'd like to see the tape. Let's run the tape. Five, what do you got your big shoes on? Oh, no, no. That's a real measurement. Uh, is that heels? Uh, dude, dude, nobody lies about five, nine. I mean, come on. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Well, yeah, people who are five, seven do. <laughs> oh, well, I'll run the tape. On video. So listen to this. I'm out on the run, uh, on the road the other day doing uh, my real job. And uh, and I'm over there off of five, uh, but uh, Highway 5, headed to Highway 7. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I got to take a piss. And it's a coffee piss, right? Like, oh, it's, it's immediate. It's yeah. on. So, I, um, so I'm looking around for a Biffy because normally there's a Biffy over there because I kind of know where all the Biffies are is placed throughout the city. And... Uh, <laughs> 
and there wasn't one. So I, for some reason, pull over to the side of the road, and I went to the left side, so I'm on the wrong side of the road. Holy crap. And I, I, whipped, the, uh, I whipped the car door open. I'm like, I'm just gonna stand here and piss behind my car door. <laughs> so, so I did. Then I've I, done that in someone's driveway. Well, and it was like, whoa, yeah, a client. Yeah, that's aggressive. I, I had to. That's aggressive. Hold on, you're Zach. Yeah, you're behind the door on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm in the clear, and it's cold out. Well, all of a oh, sudden, yeah. in the distance, I see this lady walking her dog, and I'm like, I got time, you know, I'll. I'll I'll wrap this up and get out of the way because it looks really bad. Yeah. So all of a sudden she gets close and she's like, hey, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And, 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 You're real well. And then it's like, how do you close it out when she's like within range? Ugh. So then I started making a little small talk with her and. and what? Well, I couldn't like, Wait. I couldn't like close it up. I just like closed up enough whoa, so whoa, whoa, she didn't whoa. get a show. Wait. Were you still urinating and like holding your rig while you're having small talk with the lady <laughs> behind your door? You'll never know. <laughs> that is, yeah. I mean, <laughs> wow. you know, you know what? I uh, I luckily had gone up on the high side so that my side of the car was up a little higher, so she couldn't see through the window. And I got sure. I got enough put away to where when she was, you know, within speaking range. That, okay. uh, you know, it wasn't weird, but it was weird. <laughs> did you, oh, it's really weird. Did, did you did you pull that phantom? Pretty soon, like, pretty soon there's <laughs> a, a trail of yellow piss running away from the car, and I'm like, so how about those Vikings? You know, like, what are you going to say? She knew did, what was did you, up. Did you pull that move? Like, when I had to do it in the driveway, I was on the passenger side because my, my driver's side was facing the house. She went around the car? It's a nice home, and I was thinking, God, I'm sure he's got cameras, so I better go on the uh, the passenger side. But that move where, I, while I was taking a leak, <laughs> I'm like pretending to screw with my windshield wipers, <laughs> you know, like like I have some <laughs> like some they were need, iced up, <laughs> <laughs> some need to to do that right there at the side of the ho- or hey, side can, of the car. You can only do that in Minnesota, man. That's a Minnesota. <laughs> that's a Minnesota gift right there. Absolutely. I'm Works telling you, time. it was a it was a little strange. Let me tell you that. Well, since you brought it up, I have an interesting uh, coffee piss story that happened to me last uh, two weeks ago. All right. Yeah, I had I had a deal down at the uh, Minneapolis Convention Center. Uh, I was an all day like a seminar thing. Yeah. For work, and I uh, I had to leave. I'd be there pretty early. I had to be there uh, seven forty five. So I'm pounding coffee. I'm up at like five a.m. I'm pounding coffee at the house, <clears throat> and I get on the road. I'm going downtown. It's now like 7.15. I'm downtown, right? Pretty high traffic time for uh, downtown. What's the weather? Give me the weather because I know it's cold. Uh, the weather is freezing cold. Of course it is. And I know my way around that part of town pretty well. So I'm like, okay, I got a really, I got a coffee piss situation bad. I'm in my car. However, I know where I'm parking. I know where I'm skywaying. I'm only, let's say, maybe 10 minutes I could hold it. All right. So I'm halfway. I'm halfway down 12th to where I need to get to the parking ramp, and boom, ambulance, two fire trucks, couple cops clog the intersection that I'm uh, waiting to go through with some type of emergency in a building. Oh no so, way! That oh, sounds yeah. like that sounds like your luck. No, nah, yeah, doesn't it? So I'm waiting, and now I'm I'm not the first car. So we had, I had to wait through four stoplight cycles because the only thing people could do was get to that stoplight and take a left around the emergency vehicles and detour, right? <laughs> so I go through four cycles while I have to take a leak. And then now I got to reroute. Like, I don't even know where I'm going now. That's when so you got to have a piss receptacle in the car. You have oh, to. Put it, the PD, yeah, like the big empty cup. So I take the left. I get to my turn. I take <laughs> the, the PD. left. <laughs> That's it. That's actually what you'd name it. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah, we should market that. We so, can sell those on the website. The PD. <laughs> it's just the Starbucks cup. <laughs> well, a large Starbucks cup, of course. <laughs> under the merch. <laughs> <laughs> with a with a half-ass stamped logo on it. <laughs> anyway, you finally can move. I finally can move. I take my left. I circle around. I get back where I'm heading. I go to my my my, my parking ramp. And remember, this is now like 725 downtown Minneapolis. And I pull into the ramp 
and I am behind an SUV that is at the, you know, where you push the button, arm goes up, gets a ticket. And there's uh, three other vehicles behind me uh, getting into the ramp. This guy's not moving. Like the car's not moving. I'm, I'm kind of like going, come on. Like I gotta, we gotta go. Oh, you have to be swearing out loud at this point. Oh God. Yeah. 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 Like maybe like light little horn honks, you know, <laughs> like, push the fucking <laughs> button, push the button. Dummy, let's go. And, he, and I see him try the button a couple times. And I'm going, oh, that feeling started sinking inside. I'm like, no. And then sure as shit, the guy comes running down the, from the office. Ram's full. Ram's full. Oh. Yeah. You just get out and piss right there. So dude, have, you, have you ever had to get out of a ramp when you can't get into it to exit? No, no. Yeah, me either. I wouldn't, be that, I wouldn't be that dumb. <laughs> 720. <laughs> no, it said full. The, 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 the dude right before me was the last car. So I have to back out onto 12th Street out of a parking ramp. Wait for some asshole to let oh, me in. Oh, and it's a coffee street. piss? No way. Yes. So I recover. I get back on the road. I go five blocks down to the Oracle Building Park. And I am like beeline. Are you doing the, the piss dance? Center. I'm doing the gotta piss pee, walk. Gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. Where it's a real tight buttock squeeze. Yeah. You know, where you're trying to walk and you look a little weird. So I, I do the five blocks. I get to the convention center. And I go to the first bathroom i could find in the convention center not making this up tape across the door out of service <laughs> <laughs> not lying because they're doing a lot of renovation at the convention center if you don't know well of course there always is oh when i made it i did not wet myself i got through the day I, I, that's a hell that's a hellish little situation right there oh man that is what we call a code red code, code. red well and once we start selling the pds then uh you know, then you won't have to worry about it anymore. No, because that happens. I, 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 yeah, coffee piss is a whole other animal. I, uh, it's, it's. You have to have some type of a plan. You can't, <laughs> you can't fly blind. And it sounds to me like you were flying a little blind. Like you should have had a, had a, uh, a plan. I, I, I was. I should not have consumed the amount of coffee I did prior to getting on the road where traffic's going to be. You know what it's going to be down there at that time. Yeah, that was Bush League, dude. It's, uh, it's on me. I know. I it's, know. Not, it's not your first rodeo. You should have better known better. I uh, <laughs> should have better known better. I think, uh, I think going forward, mm -hmm. you're not going to let that happen again. Never. Hey, um, listen to this deal. I've got... Uh, I've got <laughs> so at the hockey tournament, the wife and I... Because you got to drop the kid off 45 minutes early. So, sure. we, so we dropped the kid off at... We're on this diet, so we can't exactly just go sit at a bar and eat snacks. So uh, I'm like, hey, let's run over to the man's mall. You, you can on my diet. <laughs> well, that's a different diet. Uh, All right. So All we right. run over to the man's mall just to kill time. And uh, we're bumming around, and uh, we're like, we don't really need anything. Let's just kind of – we're just killing time. So we're just looking around, blah, 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 blah. So we get to the back uh, by the sporting goods. And the wife and I are, are rolling, and and all of a sudden we hear this, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, what, what? And, and she looks at me like, was that what I thought it was? And I'm like, yeah, like like people were talking, and all of a sudden this happened, and and it just went dead silent in Flea Farm. Was it her? No, <laughs> no, it was like some old farmer looking dude who's shopping at Fleet Farm. And it was like, oh. it was a solid out. He, uh, you know, I don't like to do a lot of bathroom humor, but my no, gosh, it was, it was classic though, because it was, uh, just out of the <laughs> middle of nowhere, you know, just like well, well, from a, yeah, that's, that's, that's completely unexpected when you're at a store with multiple people around. Not at Fleet Farm, man. That could happen at any time. At the same <laughs> time I'm at Fleet Farm, they have a, uh, a whole, like coffee table set up, not even a coffee table. It's like a banquet table with the ugliest orange mugs. And then they have the other half of the table is white mugs with the fleet farm logo on it. <laughs> and it says customer appreciation, help yourself. Mm. And, and I'm like, who's going to take that shit? Like nobody, <laughs> like nobody wants a, a bright orange coffee. I mean, not even at the cabin. I mean, really a fleet farm. I don't know. Yeah. The guy who's dropping uh, <laughs> dropping farts left and right 
<laughs> yeah. Take one. yeah, exactly. There's your professionals. <laughs> Exactly. But I'm telling you, you know what you buy at Flea Farm? You buy choppers. We bought a pair of choppers for the kid, man. They were legit. That's a real oh, deal yeah. right there. Yeah. Absolutely. Big time. And fishing gear. Great store for fishing gear. Yeah. They got it all at They're the really Man's good. Mall. All right. The man's mall. I didn't want to bring it up, but I'm bringing it up. Okay. God damn root canal. Oh. <sighs> oh. This, this was, is a great up. Uh, this is a great opportunity to apologize to our our uh, fan base for, for the miss? missing, yeah, for missing last week. Uh, well, the main man, the main man had a root canal. You know what though? They aren't even gonna know. I mean, they don't even know. And the, know. The, the hell <laughs> I went through on this root canal. So I'm I'm planning. Uh, I had to get out of town for the weekend for some other crap, which we'll get into later. But um, I uh, so I, I call my guy and I'm like, you know what? I'm not coming in to have you hokey pokey it. Let's go to the endodontist and get this thing done. I don't want any. Uh, I don't want any problems because I'm, sure. I'm leaving town the next day. So I get in there oh. and uh, they check me in, and I'm like, and they're, you know, hey, you got to fill out all this paperwork. And I said, you know what? No, I don't. I, I'm here so often. Like my middle name should be Root Canal. So I hop in there, <laughs> and this gal. Instead, your mid, your middle name is Chiching. Oh my gosh, fourteen hundred bucks. Actually, no, root canal? fourteen seventy-five for the root canal. Thank God Ooh. it was. Thank God it was through an existing. Uh, you know, I have a bridge, so I don't need the cap oh, or crown yeah. or whatever the hell yeah. it is. Yeah. So I get in there, and this gal, the the dental hygienist, has a uh, si- some sinus problem. Oh, <sighs> what? Yes, yes. The one working on you. Yes. And then the dude comes in and he's all like talking quiet and he's all good. And I'm like, let's just get this done. Give me some drugs. And, and okay. So here's the question. Question number one, would you rather have light pain for an extended time or stronger pain for a short time? Cause they, they, give me me some, give me some time frames. So like, like I've, I've been down this rodeo a few times and he goes in to give me the Novocaine shot and he like Ugh. goes in easy and then does a slow discharge of the syringe. Yep. So it's like in there for a while. And I'm like, ah, let's go. <laughs> but but in the, in the past, they come in, they just, whoosh, and you feel pressure, you know, because they're putting so much fluid in there at once. Yeah. But it's a short, boom, boom, you're done. Where this was like, are you seriously still in there? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh. In that scenario, hands down, more pain in a quicker duration because that is, I do not like the needle in the gum pain. That is a, that is a. Uh, well, the first one sucks. But then after oh, that, you're like. Horrible. I didn't even yeah. notice it. I didn't feel anything. But he, uh, so anyway, he does this slow deal. And my my uh, hygienist with the sinus infection, she's got the hands of an overweight pipe fitter. And she's <laughs> grabbing in my freaking mouth like, burr, burr, like a bull in a china shop. I'm just like. <sighs> What are you doing? She's like got the tools, right? And he's like all slow and sensitive. And she comes in and she throws that uh, suction thing on. And it's like stuck to my tongue. It's stuck to my teeth. And I'm just like, what are you? Is this your first day? Like nice, (laughs) nice bedside manner. I think they were both new. Like, like it was the longest root canal ever. It took an hour and a half. I'm like, was was gas an option just to just you know go what? out? I can honestly say that I will I will take the Pepsi challenge with anybody for time in the chair. Like I am a dentist's retirement plan. I, I know I, that's I why really, I said ching ching. But I have never in, ever been offered the gas. I've even asked, like, hey, maybe we try the gas. <laughs> you know, but they won't oh, give, I would, they won't give it to me. I would pay I'd pay extra just to just to drift off and come back. Have you had like it? wisdom? Like, yeah, when I had wisdom teeth, it was the uh, put the mask on. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a long time ago. And the doctor goes, uh, he mentioned some at that time, some like Pamela Anderson, some, uh, you know, some, some model. He goes, uh, <laughs> he goes, he goes, what do you uh, picture, picture yourself on a beach walking down? Let's just say, I think he, I think he did say Pamela Anderson. And uh, I go, I go, I'm not really a Pamela Anderson kind of guy, doc. And he goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, well, and he goes, oh, the, what kind of guy are you? Woke up, different room. <laughs> like, it was absolutely insane. Your butt was a little sore. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they, well, they, uh, did you go to that guy in Excelsior? Because when I had my yeah. wisdom teeth done too. Oh no no no! Not your guy in Excelsior. This was in Excelsior, but it wasn't your guy. No no. When you get when I got my wisdom done, you go to that blue building where your kids probably yes. go to get their yes. braces. Yeah, yeah. I had the same guy, and he was actually. This was before the Me Too movement, and he was talking about the hygienist. He was like, hey, oh. check whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah. And then well, I was out. Gone. Same I know. thing. It's powerful drug. That's good Ooh. drugs, man. I know. And I, I've had times considered, hey, why don't you put me down? Like, I will gladly go under if, yeah. uh, if I don't, because they got a lot of work to do, which brings up my next segment with the uh, unbelievably strange event of a root canal. But he, because they put that rubber thing on your thing, on your face, you know, that. Yeah, the guard or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and and like, oh, it was just a bad experience. She's got like <laughs> rubbing it all over my face, and there's like my drool on it, and she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I got a little wide there." I'm like, "Yeah, you did," but the the dude comes in and he goes, "You know what? We're gonna place a bite cushion in," and I'm like, "What's a bite cushion?" And it's like a little uh, uh, donut of hard rubber that they wedge in your mouth, so you don't have to hold it open. It just that's how wide they want it open. It's the greatest oh thing ever. I'm like, why have the, why is this the first time I've been, uh, you know, exposed to the bite cushion? Is, is the guy with the bite donut, the, uh, heavy mouth breather breather? No, no, that, the, the mouth donut was the dentist. The heavy mouth breather was the hygienist. Oh, the hygienist. Okay. <sighs> I, th- that leads me to, uh, you need more suction. <laughs> it was just horrible. It was a bad uh, you know experience, how, but man, it takes the pain away right now. Like I was at an nothing. event recently uh, downtown, and we had to order um, a beverage. That and means, that means alcohol. Yeah, beer. <laughs> and and uh, it was at the bar at the oddly enough the convention center. It was at the boat show, right? So we uh, were like, "Oh, let's grab a beer." And the guy, I was staying. It was pretty pretty busy, so I had to stand and wait. And the guy next to us uh, was eating, and he had his earbuds in, and he had his phone propped up, and he was watching uh, whatever on his phone uh, while he was eating. And he was he was atten- he was working the show, like it was his lunch break or dinner break. Oh, right, right on. And uh, Darren, this guy, I, and I'm right next to him. This guy, every oh, let's see, realistically, every ten to fifteen seconds, biggest sniff, like. <laughs> With his nose, like, <laughs> like you've got to blow your nose. He wasn't sampling soup. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was sniff oh, like your nose, like, like he did. It, oh. Like, and I mean, like, oh, gross. Like at a, at a level, like if you were, if he was, it was like he was snorting a line of cocaine every ten <laughs> seconds. And uh, maybe, maybe it, he was. No, oh, God, it bothered me. <laughs> it bothered me so much. The the missus, I mean, she knew right away. She's like, oh God, you're gonna get. You're going to get fixated on this guy. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, <clears throat> and after I'd say about two minutes of no service, I, I couldn't handle him. I made us move to the opposite side of the room to order, like lose our line and in, 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 lose our spot in line and everything. Really? It was that, yeah, it was that annoying. I uh, oh. I don't know if I got into this on one of the other casts or not, but I have I have the uh, I have the answer for that. What? <clears throat> the neighbor with the sniffly nose. What is it? <laughs> I was checking into a hotel in Florida not long ago. Yeah. Did I tell you about this? Uh-uh. And I had, uh, they double billed my credit card. So I went down there and I'm going back and forth with them. And I'm like, and I had two rooms. So they double billed me for two rooms. So my credit card wasn't accepting the fourth room, which, you know, <laughs> obviously it was overkill. And, uh, and, and I'm down there looking like a vacationer, just, you know, fresh out of bed, looking like hell. But I want yeah. to get this taken care of. So I went down there and I'm talking <laughs> and I'm talking to the lady and she's trying to be as polite as possible. She's like, well, sir, it's not going through, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. I said, I'll have to call my company and and uh, come back, you know. And, and she goes, oh, that'll be fine. We'll be here. And uh, might I suggest a tissue? I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> So hey, so I go. Uh, what I got something on my nose, and uh, yes, I did. It was uh, oh. it was completely embarrassing. But then I went back later and I thanked her because I was like, 
you know, way to be very polite about it. That's that's yeah, the that's high road solid, right there. That's a solid move because you got to help somebody out in that situation. I mean, you don't. Yeah, no, she did the right thing and, and she handled it like a champ. So you could have May- easily gone to your neighbor and went, might I suggest a tissue? Oh, or maybe I suggest brilliant. you lay off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. I would. Yeah. I will do that next time. I did it May one I time. I had a guy out uh, to the crib um, in the winter, and we were outside doing something. I think he was picking his kid up. They were skating or something, and uh, and he had a hanger, and uh, and I like ran in the house and grabbed a tissue. I'm like, here, I'll grab one of these for you, and oh. uh, and he was very thankful because. It's very embarrassing at the moment, but if you handle it that way, it's better than, you know, like when the wife notices something in her teeth after four hours. Yeah. And, you know, immediately it's my fault. In public. You know, so where if you get yeah. nipped, but, they, you know, it's a double-edged sword because you're like, you got something in your teeth. <laughs> oh, Jesus, why don't you say something earlier? And you're like, well, <laughs> or she'll find it and she'll be like, why don't you tell me? And I'm like, well, honestly, I didn't notice it, you know? Yeah, you got pulled out. What? Your, I hair, didn't see that. your hair looks great today, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you stop uh, eating stuff with green uh, leaves? So, yeah, mm. there you go. There's an insider nugget. Just uh, suggest a tissue. May I suggest a tissue? <laughs> oh. See, ah. see, this show not only is entertaining, <laughs> it provides a service to the public. It certainly okay. does. That's all we do is give, 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 baby. Exactly. <gasps> so, uh, yeah, so I just started my weekend off with a uh, root canal, and uh, mm. bo- they gave me a bunch of these. He called it uh, something good. I think he called it Vicodin. Was it Vicodin maybe? Hydrocodone or something? Hydrocodone, yeah. And I and I went down, actually, I went down to the boat show after the root canal. And, uh, oh, you did? Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking I got I to gotta get... Uh, Oh, yeah, I had uh, <clears throat> a VIP tickets, <laughs> which doesn't mean anything. Turn Other, around with Biff? Yeah, Biff was there. And, nice. uh, uh, well, no, actually, uh, one of the local marinas thought I was going to buy a boat, so they sent it to me thinking that I'd come there and buy a boat. Uh, oh. But uh, you get free food and beer and stuff, and it's not, it's only open to other people that are on this list oh so this is early this is before the main yeah uh, when it yeah up. this yeah, is the yeah, day okay. before so i'm heading down there and i'm like hey i gotta get this prescription filled because i'm flying out at 7 a.m the next morning and i, I you know i, I don't want to miss out on these good drugs so i uh <laughs> I, I run down to the the target downtown and it's 10 to 7 and they're like oh we close at 7 I'm like, oh, you got 10 minutes. She goes, that's a 20 minute prescription. I'm like, oh, of course it is. Oh, of course it is. Of course yeah. it is. And then, and then I'm leaving and it's the target in downtown and that's a two floor target. So I come down the escalator and there's a situation going on in the front of the target store. So I was like, situation. You know, oh, gosh. Can you tell? Oh, there was a perp. And a couple of uh, <laughs> and a couple of uh, Minneapolis finest down there, uh, you know, and they were all. I don't know why is it that I don't know. They just got to talk loud, like the the perp, yeah. the perps, like trying to get the attention of the whole space, so that you know when he gets done, he can say police brutality or whatever. Yeah, and he's like, oh, he's just yelling, and I'm just like, hey, you know. <laughs> At that moment, that's his platform. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's his stage. He uh, he was on fire, but so I got the hell out of there, and I'd go to the boat show, and there really wasn't anything great there. I was looking for my my buddy, the wakeboard guy, but he wasn't there that night. I was going to ask you, was that a that, that's the first time I've been to the boat show? Yeah. So, so I didn't know how to gauge if it was a good boat show or a a bad boat show. It's the they, it's the same boat show. <laughs> like is, it, it is doesn't it? change. Yeah. It's dumb as hell, and beers are expensive. Uh um, so I heard like seven yeah, fifty or something. Uh we just had the one, so it wasn't any. Uh, it, it wasn't too big of a dent. Oh, oh, actually, uh, after the boat show, uh, I got a little hunger cooking. Went over to uh, Monello. Hmm. <clears throat> Sounds spent delicious. Ri- spent ridiculous money on uh, what they would call dinner, and I would call 
a series of small plates. <laughs> <laughs> a snack. <laughs> the money I spent, I swear to God, I I needed to eat later that night. And then we, we ate early. It was an early, uh, you know, after the boat show. It wasn't like your standard dinner time, but so they're not afraid to price shit over there. <laughs> no, that. they give you the downtown thing. I remember when I used to work uh, and we'd go downtown for uh, interviews or whatever, um, and you'd go out to eat and you'd be like, why is my bill $17 for lunch? And they're like, oh, you're downtown. You don't get free refills on drinks. I'm like, oh, you should have told me that after my seventh fountain Coke because I love me some fountain Coke <laughs> at the time. Then I'd, yeah. go, then I'd go to the interview and just about shat my pants. That reminds me. I, uh, I was down there. I was working for Norwest at the time. And I went down there for this interview. <laughs> this is what I knew corporate life wasn't for me. <laughs> and I, and I, uh, and it was always you shart a, in the interview. No, it was, it was, I might as well have it got me the same uh, answer, but I, uh, I, I, uh, roll downtown and I'm like, you know, that you always go down a little early cause you're wearing a suit and you're wanting to be like, Hey, I'm downtown, you know, and, yeah. and, uh, I'm eating lunch and whatever. <laughs> and I, uh, and I roll up to the interview and they're like, uh, let me see if uh, Mr. Johnson is available. So, so I'm like, we well, better be available. He's got an interview with me. <laughs> you know, like we got a thing. And, and, and I know he's available. And she goes, "Yeah, he'll see you now." So I, I go back there and I sit down and I'm just like, you know, doing my thing on my A game. And he goes, "You're an hour and twenty minutes late for the interview. Is there a reason?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> You know, then then all of a sudden it starts to get and really you and you didn't it started know. to get you really warm in there. I was sweating. I'm like, <laughs> no, that and then and then I start arguing with them like, no, you had it wrong on your calendar. And I'm like, no, you, you, I know you, I'm right. You who are successfully running a multi level organization had it wrong. I who am looking for employment was totally had it right on my calendar. <laughs> so I'm going to put you down for a maybe and uh, <laughs> I'm going to wait by the phone. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, you know what? I, uh, I ended up not getting the job, which may have been a blessing in disguise because, uh, you know, that corporate world is not for me. And I personally, no. you know, working downtown, eh, no. Like, uh, no like, thanks. like, I don't know how your wife does it, man. That commuting, no way. Doesn't she still go to like 494 and Bush Lake Road area? No, 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 no. She only goes to uh, Glen Lake, Bay, like Crosstown and Baker. Oh, gravy! That's easy, yeah, easy, 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 easy pickings. I um, yeah, I couldn't do that commute thing. No way. I got a friend who she works downtown and she leaves at like five in the morning. I know. She's got to take like a bus. No way. No thanks. I'm not doing it. I uh. So anyway, I did the boat show thing. And uh, okay, so tell me. Let's let's get a play on this. So. We're, uh, we're there early because I had to do a hockey game. And okay. uh, so I go, hey, uh, let's grab a uh, some stuff, some snacks and whatever, and then uh, we can uh, head over to the hockey game. So we get to the, the Marine Max thing, and they give you free food and whatever. So we make a plate. We go and we stand there, and, and the wife's talking to me, and, and over her shoulder I see uh, Chris Humphreys walking in. And I'm, okay. like, and I'm like, hey. Hey, Chris Humphreys. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, you know, I, I don't care, you know, cause he, he lives in my town. So it's, it's not a big deal. And, and I, and I wasn't a big deal to me either, uh, but I'm like, Hey, uh, let's hang out, you know, cause he's coming to the Marine Max deal, but boy, he's, you know, it's hard for him to get his ego between the boats. <laughs> really? So it seemed, I didn't talk to him. But he had like a dude with him, and then everybody clams to him right away. But I'm like hanging out because I don't, I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. Uh, but he was always had a lot of people around him. But my play was hey, I got this Sunday night basketball team <laughs> who could really use a big man <laughs> under the hoop. <laughs> you, you were looking to recruit. <laughs> I was on a rec recruiting mission, and then I thought, holy crap, you know that would do that, what that would do to the podcast? And uh, and to get an interview with him, maybe like R.J.J. Watt. Yeah, but I think I don't know. 
but way less. Well, <laughs> I don't. I don't think he has. No offense, JJ. I don't think. He, yeah. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't. I don't think he has the personality of a JJ Watt. I think. Uh, no, I, no, no, I no, think no. he more has the personality of. I. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to say he anything. Has, he, he more he ha- I don't live in that town, so I'll go ahead. He has the personality. <laughs> well, I still <laughs> need him pers- on my team. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has the personality of somebody who would spend a few hours married to Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's well, him. It looks like he spends a lot of time on his on his look. You know, like he's he didn't just <laughs> run out of the house like I did. <laughs> a lot of grooming. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like the hat has to be folded just the right way, you know, the the stocking cap. But, yeah, so anyway, oh. I didn't end up talking to him, but I think in another world I would have, but if I was drinking, I probably for surely would have. Oh, God, if you were drinking, you'd still be with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'd, be, we'd be rolling together. Let's call Kim! Let's call Kim! <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to say, but let's call. I uh, Yeah, so that didn't pan out, and... Uh, Ended up running into into uh, to uh, Doug at the boat show, and oh, I did. and I said, "Hey, you hang out and talk to you know tall people. They talk because that's a tall person yeah. thing." I'm like, yeah. "You talk to him and get him on our team because uh, we need him." And uh, he's like, "Yeah, no, I don't think so. We, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that." Yeah, I'm like, "Whatever, dude. Whatever." But was we he down there put was he down there putting uh, some money down on that uh, Tiara Sport? I don't know. I don't. I, he probably already has a boat. I don't even know. I don't even know if he still has his house here. No, I, I meant Doug. No, Doug bought a new boat last year, so he was down here seeing how great his boat is. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, he told me about it, but uh, no. And they were drinking. I, I miss drinking, man. They were having a lot of fun drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's what those events are you get a drink and you walk around and it's half people watching yeah and half looking at boats i guess we uh yeah. we'd, we walked the entire thing though i gotta tell you it wasn't kind of the uh half ass we all we didn't go we all we, winded <laughs> no, no no i'm i'm working out again we could we could get into that a little sure bit sure you are the uh we didn't do any of the pontoon there's a lot of pontoons oh <laughs> working hey. out working out of a tight pair of pants <laughs> <laughs> the hey that's it remind it reminds me uh, when we were having dinner at manello we we were eating at the bar because it's you get like the the first and the second and then the, 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 the pasta and then the entree and so we we're there for a little while waiting for their, our different um courses to show up right yeah and and I kind of know the bartender. He's a cool cat. So we were we were sitting there and just kind of rapping with him. And then two guys pull in and sit right next to us. And uh, and Heidi or uh, the missus notices. Uh, uh, she's like, look at that guy's watch. And it was like a uh, Rolex ish, you know, diamonds all the way around the uh, perimeter. And bling, look, bling. He's got, yeah, he's got a little more uh, a little more hardware around the neck and some rings and like just, but not in an overly gaudy way, you know, just. A real uh, guy who happens to be into expensive uh, jewelry, I guess. That's cool. And, yeah, he's with us. We start like, I'm similar to you. Like, there's no reason you wouldn't start rapping to somebody when they're right next to you, right? Yeah, right. <clears throat> and we're talking, and I, uh, I go, you guys uh, come down to the home, or to the uh, boat show? And he's like, no, we're actually, we're in it. I just We just snuck over here to get a drink and uh, a quick bite. And I go, oh, cool. He's like, where are you at? And he's like, uh, Bennington Pontoons. Nice. Okay. So I'm talking to him. I know nothing about pontoons. I've heard of Bennington. And uh, the guy with all the wear on him, uh, he goes, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. It's the first time I've kind of just worked it as a, as an outsider. I go, oh, why is that? And uh, he goes, me and uh, five other guys, we started Bennington uh, pontoons. Oh! Yeah. And uh, he you goes, got we the grand from... poobah. <clears throat> yeah. He goes, we started it from scratch. Uh, he, he said the year. I, I couldn't remember. He goes, we sold it last year to Polaris. I go, really? I didn't know that. And he's, and eh, the branding is all the same and blah, blah, so blah. So that was probably a really nice watch. Yeah. yeah. He, he goes, yeah, we sold it to Polaris for $850 million. So you're picking up my tab then? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're we're all out of it. I go, why are you still working there? And he goes, oh, I love it. Now I just, I'm staying on as long as they want me to. And now there's this zero, zero stress. Like it's just... Hell Hang yeah. Out, people talking about boats. I'm like, eh, it's not a bad gig. No doubt. Especially when six of you split uh, 850 large. That's 
it's not a bad way out. Oh God. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if you split it with eight other people, (laughs) (laughs) that's a decent number. (laughs) <laughs> wow, outstanding. Brent yeah, Benikin's was, a nice boat. Did you find any that you were fancying? You know what? I you know me. I f- full disclosure, I know very little about pleasure boats. And we walked around <laughs> You know around more about looked, commercial boats? <laughs> no, fishing boats. Oh. I know a fair amount about fishing boats, but we're we're looking, we're considering maybe some small pleasure boat that we can have, you know, take the kids out on their friends and whatnot. And <clears throat> Not knowing anything about them. I mean, I know the brands, you know, I know Cobalt and Sea Ray are good and all the ones. So I was just looking at size and uh, affordability and layout. And I got to tell you, I texted you this because I was like, leave it to me. The one that we literally, I mean, being totally honest, liked the best in terms of the layout, the looks, the style, the what came with it, you know, all that crap. Right. (laughs) Was the only boat that does not use a propeller and an engine. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the uh, Yamaha SX. Those are tough, two, man. They're two, sweet two boats. They fly. Yeah, I really liked it. And uh, you know, the guys give me the pitch, you know, oh, winterization's not that, you know, it's easier and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I trust, I mean, he's, they've been using those engines in wave. I mean, smaller. These are, this is like a twin, a twin, whatever. Yeah. You, know, you can't together in nine. It, nine letters and numbers it's a good but, ri- it's a good river boat well that's the thing so I, I was i was driving home going okay it's a jet boat and we would only be using it on minnetonka and minnetonka is very weedy yeah uh, yeah you can't the, fish the, out of it the, oh no 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 i would just not be fishing at all uh it, wouldn't, wouldn't it suck up weeds constantly yeah. well the, the yamaha has a different mechanism on theirs that that helps to avoid that but okay. the, the whole jet propulsion thing, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the jet skis are fine. We very, very seldom have to de-weed the jet skis. But, yeah. like, I had that Boston Whaler that had the jet engine, and I so I literally owned it and sold it in the course of a month because it sucked up so much crap. But that had big grates and grooves um, underneath, so it didn't have a great, you know, weed. Uh, like a prevention. Kind yeah, of thing. right, right, yeah. right, yeah, so... You know, but yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta start uh, looking, but it's, uh, I, other than that, I gotta tell you, it was by far the, the, for how we would use it. It was a 21 foot, uh, seating for like, I think nine or something like that. And well, you can I, buy a was, 21 foot boat with an engine. Yeah, I don't know. I know. <laughs> they make those. <laughs> I know. But my, I know. I just, the boss really I, likes those Yamaha boats though. They're, they're, I just thought it was funny like that. That was the one I landed on and it was the most unconventional <laughs> way, way to propel a boat that's usually the way it works yeah, yeah right, exactly. it's usually the way it works i uh i got to uh i gotta put a wrap on this thing man we uh, uh okay we're, we're rocking at 40 40 50 minutes here sweet Perfect. timing so what we'll All do right. is uh we'll put this one to a wrap and we will file it under uh episode three and then three. uh we Freeze. will we will uh, be good to go All right. Sounds good. So we'll tune in on the next one. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Me too. That's a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends. If you'd like to reach out, you can use the studio line at 612-504-6500 or by email, the DK Project Podcast at gmail.com. And of course, there's always social media at the DK Project Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. 